Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy Tom here. So, on Reddit, Auto Hotkeys page, you get a lot of requests for gaming scripts, and one I've noticed pop up from time to times is Roblox. I was actually very surprised to find out that this game is still around. I used to play this ooh, 10, 15 years ago, maybe? So, that was kind of cool to see that this game is still popping, and uh, I figured I would check it out and do something with it with auto hotkeys so yeah let's go ahead and take a look at that code but first if you like this video you like automating stuff whether it's for work uh, video games or just your personal life definitely subscribe doing about two to three videos every week for you all all right there are hundreds and hundreds of games mini games i guess they're called within this game so, obviously, I am not able to cover every type of situation with automating. So, I picked a game that seemed to be pretty popular and had a few things that I was able to automate in it. So, I'm going to use that as an example. You'll see what game that is here shortly after the code review. And hopefully, you can figure out enough to manipulate it, use it with other games. If not, definitely check out some of my intro videos. They should help out a lot. So the first thing I'm doing here is I have a hotkey assigned to F12, which is just going to reload my script. The reason for that is I have a bunch of loops in here with no way to really break them. And this is just the simplest way to do it outside of a loop. So the first one we got, I just called it jump a lot. I'm going to press F1 on the keyboard while I'm in the game. And all that's going to do is send space down. So that's just going to hold the space button down. So the game I'm playing, you want to jump a lot. Uh, because you're leveling up your, I think it's like agility. Uh, I forget the other two. We'll figure it out here shortly. Now, I know some games holding the space bar down will only count as a single press. Maybe you have a game where you need to you know, push it a bunch of times, kind of to build up a meter or some sort, you would just do this way instead. F1, a loop, which means just go over and over again, send space, sleep 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. Depending on what you're doing, you can adjust this sleep, uh, you know, make it 100 milliseconds to be much faster, or you can go all the way up to 5,000 milliseconds to make it much uh, slower. I mean, you don't have to max out there. You can go as high as, and low as you want, down to zero. If you go to zero, just delete the sleep if you want it to really spam very fast. We're not going to use this in the one we're doing because we're perfectly fine with just holding the space button down, and it will count. The second one we got here is run a lot. So we're going to press F2 here, and that's going to loop. It's going to send W down which on the keyboard for this game moves my character forward. It's going to wait one second or a thousand milliseconds. It's going to release the W key. It's then going to push the S down, which will move my character backwards. Sleep one second, release that key, rinse and repeat. So that's what that's going to do. And you'll see these here shortly. Uh, the next one is click a lot. Basically the same thing as that one space uh, spamming one I showed you up above, but this one's going to do a click, which just means the left mouse butts and click, sleep 500 milliseconds, and just keep repeating that. So I'm going to go ahead and start to get into that game. Here's what it's called, Dimensions 5 Anime Fighting. It's an interesting game, pretty cool. So let's load that up. And we'll show you those first three, and then I got one more to show you uh, that actually combines all three into one. But this way we can see it kind of individually and then as a whole. Is there a specific game out there you guys are playing that you would like to automate where what I showed you today really will not work? Let me know and I will take a look at that game. I'm definitely interested in playing around with this game for a while since it kind of brings me back with some nostalgia there. All right, come on, load the data. I feel like it's usually faster than this, so I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, apparently I can still move. Whoa, that's loud. I'm gonna turn that down a bit. Alright. 
So as you see how I'm walking here, I'm, my speed is increasing by plus two right there, you see? That's what that script for WS comes in place. Now if I start jumping, my agility is increasing. And then if I press four to take out my sword and I spam click, my sword skill's going up. So let's go ahead and press F1. Probably helps to actually run the script. Let me make sure I have none of the other scripts running. Oh, where did I put it? There it is. All right. Sorry about that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and press F1. Hands are off the keyboard. But you can see uh, with that little thing I have above my head up there, you can see that my space bar is being held down, even though I'm not touching it. And I just keep jumping. I can walk away. My character's leveling up. Now I'm going to push F12 to stop that. Now let's do, uh, what is it, F2. Hands up. And as you see from my keyboard, it's switching between W and S. And there goes my uh, speed increasing. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and press F12 to stop that. And let's get back over here. Now we're going to do F3, which is my sword skill. Pick that up. And as you see from my mouse up above my head, I'm just clicking every uh, half a second there to get my sword skill up. Cool. Now, hopefully nobody kills me while I'm doing this. If not, big, no big deal. Uh, okay, here we go. So now, you saw all those being done one by one. But let's combine them all into one so I can do all three at the same time. I'm going to press F4 for this one. It's going to hold the space bar down. It's then going to start a loop. So you'll recognize here that it's doing the W down, sleep one second, W up, S down, S up. Now, I did add clicks in here in multiple spots just because I need that click to happen here and there. I could have put this in loop only in one spot, but then that click would only be happening every two seconds. This way it's happening more like every 500 milliseconds because I have it in there multiple times. So yeah, let's go ahead and use F4 and watch how crazy my character goes here a little bit. Hands down. So there you go. I'm jumping, moving forward and backwards and swinging my sword. So now, as you see, like there's a bunch of plus twos uh, popping up there all over the place. Alright, let's go ahead and stop that. Oops, stop walking forward. There we go. Let's go back to the center here. Now, the last thing I got is kind of a chat bot. I do not recommend doing this in the game. Uh, like, as a way to spam, people will most likely report you, or you will get temporarily banned, or permanently banned. And just kind of a disclaimer, in all my videos I have to do with games, especially one like this where it is multiplayer, use at your own discretion as, you know, depending what game you're playing, how you're using these scripts, you can get banned or a warning, or just make people unhappy to be playing with you. So that is just a warning out there. I'm not responsible for any of your accounts having any issues with that. <laughs> so yeah, chatbot. Here, we're going to be pressing F6. And obviously, you can adjust these to be whatever key you want. If you want it to be like uh, Control A, Control S, that's perfectly fine. Just adjust that how you want. We're going to send the backslash here, which in this game opens the chat. We're then going to send Hi, What's Up. We're going to press the Enter key, which Enter is in brackets here. Without the brackets, it would actually spell out the word Enter, so we don't want that. It's going to sleep 3,000 seconds or milliseconds or three seconds. And then it's going to open that chat again and say, fight me, brah, and then press enter. Uh, obviously, you can adjust the sleep to however you want, but I figured three seconds between each one seems more natural and less likely that I am being a spamming bot here. And then a return just means stop at this line. As you see, I don't think I explained that yet in all these, but... You'll learn that in some of the intro videos if you're looking at those. So, yeah, let's try that one out. F6. Go back into the game. 
F6, open up the chat. You can kind of see it up there. It says, hi, what's up? Oh, and yeah, see, there it goes. For some reason, it missed the F there. It might have done it a little too fast. So to fix something like that, since it might have done it just a tad too quickly, I'm just going to put a sleep of like 250 milliseconds after the chat open before it starts typing. And I'll include this in the description below with this update. All right, guys. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, want to know more, see more, definitely hit me up in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Enjoy.